Well, hello and welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Capricorn love prediction reading for January 16th through January 22nd. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Also, please know that this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loyal, stubborn, loving, kind, sweet Capricorn. Show me spirit, guys. What's going on with my Capricorn? Show me spirit, guys. What's going on, my Capricorns? Let's see, Caps. What you got going on? The star card. King of Wands. Oh, the tower. The world card. And the Four of Cups. Oh, Capricorn, Capricorn. Who is this? I see an Aquarius. This is a, The star card represents an Aquarius' sun sign. This can't be anyone, but the star card, like I said, does represent an Aquarius' sun sign. And this is someone that you looked at as possibly a mate, a long-term mate, a husband possibly. They were a leader in your world. They were your. They were the person that you had a lot of hope for. You felt a lot of goodness with them. You, you guys just got along. You just got along and you really thought that this was going to be a long-term commitment. The star card means hope too. Just a lot of hope. There was just a lot of hope when it came to this person that you looked at as possibly going to be a husband. Because my king of wands is always my husband card for me. You looked at them and you were saying, I see, I can see us together. I can see us as mates. I, we mesh that way. We, we have the yin and the yang. But something happened. Something happened because this tower card is in the middle of your reading. This relationship was blown up. It was blown up. I mean, it was like, it was, I see just anger. I mean, it was just like a sudden stuff. You suddenly left this person. You suddenly said, you know, I'm not going to deal with you anymore. I'm just not going to deal with you anymore. I'm just done. I'm done. Now, I'm going to tell you what I think. I think this person was married, and I think you found out about it. Because the King of Wands represents for me is my husband card. I think you saw them as a husband, but I think they already were a husband. Now, here's the world card that's here now. The world card is complete. You know, it, it takes a Capricorn's kind of, you know, once they're done, they're done. Once they move on, they move on. I know because I'm a Cap. I am what I am. But, you know, once we're done, we're done. I saying it's good, bad, indifferent, or whatever. But we we might be crying and, and doing all the snot running and everything else in our, in our home or wherever we are. But you'll never know it. You'll never know it. You'll never know how we truly felt about you, especially if we found out something as nasty as you were already married and, my, and your heart was tied up with them. And here I see the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups, unfortunately for me, that Four of Cups is saying, no, no. No, I, I'm not going to, um, I don't know, I just feel like you're saying I, I'm not going to give my heart like I gave this time. I normally, Capricorns normally don't give their heart freely. And I think this person captured your heart, but here you are at the end again, you're guarded again. That Four of Cups means you're guarded once again. You're guarded. You're not giving, you know, what you, uh, you're just not going to do it. That Four of Cups, you, you're just not going to do it. You're going to... You're going to hold back. You've got three cups and you're going to give whatever you can. You're going to play with people. You're going to have relationships. I'm not saying you're not, but you're just not going to give your total heart to someone again. Unfortunately, at least at this time with the, what I see with this. And it's because you've been heart, hurt. You've been broken. So let's see. If this is your read, please give me three to five minutes because I want to clarify. I want to clarify the reading. I want to clarify the reading just to see if the spirit guides will give me any additional information. I'm going to clarify the reading. Show me spirit guides. Show me spirit guides. What are you going to show me spirit guides? Show me spirit guides. 
Why is the star card here? Why is the star card here? Sit back, relax. Let me let me clarify this because I think you want to know, Caps, what's going to happen here or what is happening. Why is the star card here? Oh, I have the Knight of Swords. I have the Knight of Swords. You know, like I said, you don't give your heart freely. You were very courageous with this person because um, this card, you, you simply adored this person. And I don't think they knew it, though, but you really did because a star card can mean adoration, too. But you looked at them as being a possible mate, long-term husband. You did, but you found out something because this, this tower is in the middle of the reading. I'm going to tell you, and I told you what I think. The Knight of Swords here means you were courageous. You were courageous just to let your guard down and to love them. But, man, you're, you're hurt now. You're broken. So let's see why the King of, of Wands is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the King of Wands here? Show me spirit guides. Oh, I have the Page of Pentacles. They, uh, The Page of Pentacles. Well, we know they definitely. Page of Pentacles can mean loyal, faithful. You thought they were, but we know they're, uh, when we look at this, we know they were not. But you did feel like they were faithful to you, but they were not. They were not. They are not faithful to you. They have a significant other. They're already married. So let's see why the tower card is here. Show me spirit guides. <clears throat> why is the tower card here? Show me spirit guides. Oh, I have the Ace of Pentacles. Mm. You thought this relationship was going to be everything. Not only were you going, did they have your heart space, but you just thought you were going to be able to build with them. You thought you were going to be a, have abundance with them. But with this Tower card here, you blew up this whole relationship. Um, and I just see anger. And I, I feel like you're saying, I, I wouldn't share my time, my money, my heart space with you not you're done you're just done it's no way no way you know capricorns are very much uh, about their paper but this says no no you will never ever get back in my heart space or my pocket that's what i see you will not get back into my heart space or my pocket because you were very kind to them you helped them out you thought that you could grow with them you thought you could build with them you thought this was going to be a generous relationship an abundant marriage possibly but it no no it did not because they have someone else so let's see why the world card is here show me spirit guides why is the world card here oh i have the justice card well you've completed a cycle because First of all, the justice card for me means can mean legality, which means can um, can mean a marriage. You were looking at possible marriage with this, but you completed this cycle. You thought that you had ended a cycle and it was time for you to go on. You really thought, like I said at the beginning of here with this King of Wands, this was a person that you were going to be with on a long-term basis. Because this justice card is here. You were in the marriage mode. You were in, you know, this person you thought was very balanced. But you were also, you were just in that marriage mode. You just thought this was going to be your husband, your significant other. You were going to be abundant together. Because you'd already started the process, but this person is married. So let's see. If they're not married, they're in a long-term relationship with someone else. And they failed to tell you that. So your heart got caught up in this. So let's see why the Four of Cups. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Four of Cups here for my Capricorns? Oh, I have the Eight of Swords. Ooh, Capricorn. Capricorn. Something about this person that keeps you with them. That energy is still there. You keep telling yourself with this Four of Cups, you're not going to give your heart space. Because what it is, what was happening is that you're still tied to this person. Your heart space is still tied to this person. You feel trapped because you can't get this person out of your head. You and this person are still tied together. That energy is still there. It's, you know, no matter what, when you love somebody, you love them. Especially for a Capricorn. If they love you, they fall deep. And you love them. And now you're still tied to them because that Eight of Swords is there. You can walk away at any time. At any time, you can walk away from this person. At any time. But somehow, you're not. 
And you know, you, it's almost like you got your, you know, your your pissed. But that four of cups means you're you're not gonna give your heart. I don't know if it's to them or maybe they're telling you I'm gonna get a divorce. I don't know what's happening here, but you are still tied to this person. You have not walked away from this person yet. Now let's see. Uh, let's start at the beginning. The star card can be an Aquarius person, can be anyone, can be someone, um, can be a general person because this, but the star card does represent the Aquarius sun sign. This is someone that you were very courageous with. You let down your guard. You gave them your heart space. You gave them your mind. And here you thought they were the king of wands. You just thought they you guys had meshed. It was like one of those things how you know that you get with somebody and it just clicks. That's what happened with you and this person. It just clicked. You thought they were faithful. You thought they were loyal to you. But then you found out because here's this tower here. And this tower is all about blowing up a relationship. You're just not going to deal with this. Whatever this is, you're not going to deal with it. And you know, you quickly, because Capricorns don't waste time, I'm just saying, you quickly blew it up. And you also said, not only am I going to blow it up as far, because no, it, it, I think in your head you were saying, you get no more abundance either. In other words, we can't build abundance. You get no more money from me. You get in, in nothing. Maybe they didn't. Maybe you just saw them building and you just said, you know, I'm not going to give you my time anymore. To, I'm not going to help you grow anymore. Maybe you were trying to help them financially. Maybe you guys were trying to put your money together and build something financially, but you, you, you blew it all up. You're not getting my heart space. You're not getting, um, you know, my, my abundance, my um, knowledge on, on, on money. You're not getting that either. You're just you're angry and you're done with it. Here's a world card, which means complete, a completion. You've been through everything with this person and you feel like you've completed it. But here you thought you were going to go to marriage because you feel like you'd already been through everything with them. How could, how could this happen? But it happened. You found out they were married or they were in a long-term relationship with someone else. And here's the four of cups and here's you not giving your heart. You're guarded again now. But the problem is you want to release this energy, but... There is something that's keeping you trapped here. They've got your heart space. They've got your mind space. And that's a big thing for a Capricorn to have a cap in that Capricorn like that. But somehow you're still attached to that energy Capricorn. And until you detach, you will not be able to move forward. You'll always be in this four of cups stage. You'll not be able to, to move forward. So let's see. Show me spirit guys. Show me. Show me spirit guys. Angel oracles. Show me. Oh, well, Capricorn, choose a new direction. That's what the oracles are telling you. Choose a new direction. You got to. You got to bear up. Choose a new direction because this person is not for you. They're already committed to someone else. Unless they're telling you if they're making that decision to move on from you or from that other person. And even if they move on, Capricorn, you still don't want to talk with them immediately because you don't want to be a rebound. So whatever, you need to.